Warning, spoiler alert, this video includes film plot and ending. The Exorcist is the harrowing story about Chris McNeil and her 12 year old daughter Regan. After Regan plays with her Ouija board, she makes contact with someone from the spirit world who becomes her friend. Regan calls her new invisible friend Captain Howdy. Then Regan gradually begins to act strange. She uses obscene language and exhibits abnormal strength. Doctors think Regan's symptoms are psychological. Her doctors can't help her so an exorcism is suggested to her frustrated, loving mother. Two priests arrive at her home and they witness Regan perform a series of vulgar acts. They attempt to exorcise the demon in Regan's bedroom. But the stubborn evil entity toys with them, especially Father Damien Karras. Then the more experienced priest, the exorcist himself, Father Merrin, continues the exorcism alone. Original ending Father Karras returns to Regan's bedroom and discovers Father Merrin is dead. After failing to revive Father Merrin, Father Damien Karras confronts the laughing spirit and attacks Regan's body, wrestling her to the ground. Then Father Karras demands the demon to leave Regan's body and possess him instead. The demon accepts his invitation and possesses him. Then it immediately controls Father Karras like a puppet to move in and harm Regan. And then the ounce of good left in Father Karras has enough willpower to avoid harming the young girl by throwing himself out of the window. Father Karras is dead. A few days later, Regan, now back to her normal self, has no apparent recollection of her possession. My alternative ending. After the kind Father Merrin tragically dies, Father Karras returns to Regan's bedroom. He confronts the evil demon inside Regan. He throws her onto the bedroom floor and demands that the demon possesses him instead. As the demon moves into Father Damien Karras, the demon makes Father Karras' strength and anger come to life and just focus purely on harming the young, vulnerable and exhausted Regan. What's left of the good inside Father Karras tries not to hurt Regan, but he can't stop. The devil, the evil inside him wins. Regan is brutally murdered by the spirit that possessed her. Now the demon feels at home in a more stronger body than Regan. The demon is nesting now inside Father Damien Karras. He looks down and smiles at the dead, bruised, battered body of Regan. Suddenly Regan's mother comes rushing in and before the horror before her registers in her brain, the possessed body of Father Damien Karras viciously attacks her. She is killed instantly. We witness the possessed priest slowly calming down from his violent episode. He sits down on Regan's bed with the sense that a huge weight has been removed from his shoulders. This is the demon inside him now content. It really enjoyed itself when it occupied Regan, teasing, mimicking the dead and making Regan do and say disgusting things. After a few long moments, Father Karras slowly gets up and moves towards the deceased Mrs. McNeil. He gently picks her up like fragile glass, and then with incredible strength he throws the mother out of the window. We witness her dead body crash down the steep steps like a rag doll. And after a few long moments, Father Karras walks slowly over to the poor young girl's limp body and he gently picks her up, cradles her in his arms, smiling. And with sudden force, he quickly folds her body effortlessly like a match snapped in half, instantly snapping her spine in two. Then he spins her in a circle motion around him and then lets go. So she flies out of the smashed window, following the same trajectory as her mother. 
her body being lighter than mummy thumps and blood splats on the steep concrete steps further down than where her mother's dead body landed minutes before. Mother and daughter are still at the very bottom of the steps. Both are contorted within 30 feet of each other. The night is now quiet. We watch the possessed father Karras walk slowly out of Regan's room. Long silence. A few days later we see Father Damien Karras in his church being the kind and empathetic priest he's known to be. But we as the audience realise it's not really Father Damien Karras. Any one or more of his loyal congregation will be his next unfortunate victims. God himself is not with them. The demon has secured its perfect playground away from the spirit world. Captain Howdy now thrives in the sanctuary of the church. God help us all. <laughs>